show me how you geolocate. So this is one of the first images we had. We had this missile launcher on the back of this truck. It has a white cabin, this yellow sign on the side. You can just make out the missiles on the back of the truck. It's covered in netting. Yes. And we wanted to figure out where this was. So we have this shop sign here and you can only see part of it, but there's only so many words in Russian that can be. So you can Google that and start looking for mentions of it on the internet. One mention was on this uh, wiki, and it's a wiki for streets in um, Ukraine. And it lists all the shops on the street, so we actually had the street name, but not the exact address. We then took the name of the street and the name of the shop, and that gave us this result, which was a court document that gave us the full address. And this was actually a fight that happened in the shop. So um, we could say the shop was here precisely, and this is a satellite map image of the shop but we wanted more evidence that this was the place. So we searched for the street name again and it actually came up with um, a very interesting video. So if you note here, there's this building here with these black and white stripes on the side. And you can mm. also see the yellow shop front here. This video was posted online by someone who travels around just filming stuff from his dashboard cam. You can and actually see here, yep, yeah, there's this on the left hand side, you'll see it coming up. Yeah. There's the stripey uh, building, there's the shop on the right there's hand the side. There's the yellow warning. And that meant we could find the precise location of this photograph. And what this meant is we knew which direction the sh shadows were pointing. So we used a site called SunCal, because it's usually used by photographers to calculate where the shadows are gonna be. But we kind of did it the other way around. We used the shadows to calculate the approximate time of day, which was 12.30. And then we um, had another video. This video is from a town called Zurez. This is um, earlier on in the route, and usually with this one, um, the person who um, posted this online gave us the time and the coordinates. So. We actually put the coordinates into Google Earth, which you can see here. We kind of rotated the image to make it a bit easier. And then we went through different elements you could see and matched it off. So there's various structures that are visible and you can see the road layout as well. There's enough to identify in here to completely match it up. That's correct, yeah. yeah. With this next video, this is from um, Shiznay. This actually shows the missile launcher driving out of town unloaded. And you can see it's being filmed from a high location because what you can see here is two carriageways. You can see the trees down the middle and that's what's visible in the video. So then you start matching the elements. So just before the turn in the road, there's three trees. Two of them are next to each other and there's one separate. Mm. You can also see the red roof building. Yes. And to the north is actually apartment buildings and this is where it would have been filmed from. So when we were looking at this Russian convoy, what we were doing is actually trying to find an exact location for each video. So the top images here, these are from the Russian convoy videos. These bottom images are from Google Earth and you can see they match exactly. So what we were able to do is take all, these are all individual videos we found the exact location for and we can actually track it all the way from Kursk all the way down to here just across from Luhansk. Kursk is home base of the 53rd Brigade. Yeah, the way we identified the base was we found videos and images like this. So this is from a still from one of the videos and you can actually see the number plates on the vehicles. So we found this guy and he has a social media profile which he posted lots of photographs on. And one of them includes this photograph from his base, the 53rd Brigade, that shows the same unit with the same number plate. And we could prove that he was based in this base by uh, his other photographs, because this is their parade grounds with these two huge missiles on it. And that's actually visible on satellite map imagery. And you can also see like the lines mm. on the ground as well. So we were able to show that he was definitely based in that unit and that vehicle came from that unit. We also have individuals who are part of that convoy who took photographs of the convoy. So this is actually the same one of the missile launches that was in it. You can even just read that number plate. And this is from one of the videos of the convoy, and this is actually the number plate of that vehicle. So you can see it's the same number plate. Another example, some of the guys in the convoy took a photograph of themselves on the, this bus, and that guy who's fast asleep in that window there is visible on one of the videos of the convoy. There he is. And we have got a lot of this information, and this yeah. is the kind of thing we're sharing with the um, police investigation and gathering at the moment. So these soldiers who are, you know, for their own enjoyment or ego, are posting all of this online and, the, and, and on their social media, yeah. not knowing that it's providing vital clues. Yeah, but you know, for every one of these pictures, there's you know about 200 pictures of them getting kind of drunk in their underpants.